President Yoweri Museven called on members of the Ugandan community in the diaspora to work towards the reduction of imports of products that can be made in the country. The President made the call yesterday at State House in Entebbe when he addressed a delegation of Ugandans in the diaspora together with students from various universities in the country who are undertaking a 10-day transformative leadership course at the National Leadership Institute, Nali, in Changkwanzi district. You, to defend the country better, uh, those, who are, those who are working outside, they can, can continue working where they are working because that helps them to earn some income. The ones who are here, we have got a, a big, these people whom you say are unemployed, the youth, especially the educated youth. These are not a, pro, uh, they are not uh, a problem. The training ends on Friday the 18th, January 2019, and has attracted a total of 93 Ugandans living in Europe, Asia, and Americas, and 46 university students from within the country. The major aim of the training is to make the Ugandan community in the diaspora become a reliable human resource to sell Uganda abroad through marketing products that are made in the country. Where does the prosperity of families, companies, professionals, profession. If you have got a profession, you are a nurse, like you, many of you are, nurse, are nurses, where you, you work in the US. Those people you are looking after, are they members of your clan? said that patriotism is crucial as opposed to sectarianism. He noted that it is good to promote patriotism, especially among the youth, reminding them of the need to protect the country. Moyo wa Uganda, the spirit of Uganda. This is what we call patriotism. Patriotism is from a Latin word, patri, patria. Patria is to do with the father, fatherland. That's why these priests call themselves Padre, Padre, that they are fathers of you people, the, the Catholic priests. So that's why for, while, the, while the UPCs, the, the other groups are talking of sectarianism, for us we say no patriotism. The president expressed a pleasure that the Nali administration has enabled cutters acquire skills in financial discipline and fighting the HIV scrooge. The president advised them strongly to spend less and save their hard-earned finances, saying they should strive to avoid catching HIV AIDS and also wasting their resources in alcoholism, adding that the recklessness in life betrays their people who have hope in them. Identity in politics, we should instead follow interests. What are the interests of the people? What are the needs of the people? You can call it, if you want to translate in the local language, you can call it Omugasho. He stressed that the major issue at hand is to solve the challenges of Wananchi, not through identity, but interest. Now, once you have these two, then you add other issues. The president also emphasized the need for East Africa and Africa as a route for people's prosperity and said that the regions provide markets for our goods. I appreciate your excellency for the lecture given. It has been of great benefit to us. My question is... While responding to questions, the president assured the participants that the NRM government shall make the educated youth. He agreed with the proposal of the Ugandan diaspora community to integrate with Ugandan embassy in promoting the country. The commander of the National Leadership Institute, Brigadier David Kasura, thanked President Museven for facilitating the training. He said the course targeted transforming Uganda and course participants 
will become change agents. They are being stimulated and we hope they are at a higher energy state which, they will be, which can be leveraged for the good of our country. The coordinator, engineer Adam Kasambura, said that they are determined to transform Uganda from a peasant economy to an industrial middle income status. He noted that Nali is the best institute in enlightening the Ugandan community in the diaspora about their Some country. High-ranking UPDF officers who you did assign the work to see the mass plantation of coffee in Uganda. The course participants, on the other hand, recommended that the Nali certificate should be mandatory for all political leaders, regardless of their divergent political affiliations.